The best way for you to determine the condition of your engine, especially top end piston rings, etc., is by doing a leak down test. The best way to do this is hot. Unfortunately, in this situation, we can't do that. So you have your cylinder leak down test. You connect the hose into where the spark plug goes. You need to block the flywheel. We have our bar here. Because uh, as we add air to this cylinder, it's going to turn the engine. It's going to want to turn the engine over. Normally, I would do this, as I said, hot, the bike all together, first gear, top dead center for this cylinder, lock the rear brake, and then you can add air in without the engine turning. Um, this situation, obviously, a little bit different. So, we're gonna, Sean's going to go ahead and add some air. You want to bring it up to 100 pounds. We have a leak at our seal right here. Try that again. Yeah, go slow. That's better. And now you listen for a leak. Well, we do have a little bit of a leak here. You want to listen. If you have intake noise, if you hear it sucking through the, uh, coming out through the intake, that means you have a bad intake valve. If it's coming out of the exhaust, you have a bad exhaust valve. Check your crankcase. If it's coming out of the crankcase, then you need piston rings. very very minimal so I'm happy with what the gauge says I agree with that we're at uh, less than a 10% leak that leakage even though this damn hose is leaking a little bit and there we go 5% that's more than satisfactory that's actually excellent so we do not need rings we don't need to rebuild the cylinder head we have those fucked up threads on the exhaust exhaust stub but we have enough threads left there to be able to reassemble this we have rotated the engine 360 degrees to bring us to top dead center on this side and even my adapter that fucker is going to leak a little bit That's crankcase noise. Hold on. We're going to move over here and remove our dipstick. Oh! <laughs> this is why I do leak down tests. That right there is an over 20% leak down, 20% leakage past the rings. Let me out! Do we have anything I'm not coming out of the exhaust? As I stick my ear to it and get my ear freaking eardrum blown out by a flying valve or chunk of carbon intake and exhaust sound fine this cylinder needs rings with 20 percent leakage um, and on one cylinder both cylinders it would be okay uh, the bike would run 
fine. Uh, having 20% leak down on one side, that means that side is working a little harder than the other. And there's more blow-by, which is building up more crankcase pressure, which causes more pressure in the engine, causes the seals to fail because there's pressure trying to escape, more pressure trying to escape than what the crankcase ventilation system can handle. Um, so we want to address that. We need to put rings at least on that side. Now with this increase in crankcase pressure, that would most likely explain our rear main seal leak. And if you look at the other videos of this particular bike, we didn't have a trail of oil drooling out of this. It was a very minor leak, probably only at higher RPMs, zipping down the highway, building up too much pressure, puking out. Probably also explains why the pushrod tube seals on the left side are puking all over the place, the right side not so much. Um, the left seals may be just a little bit harder rubber than, than the right side due to age and uh, they gave up the ghost sooner. And you know, that's, so obviously I mean, we're still going to do a rear main seal on this bike and pushrod tube seals head gaskets, etc. But some, something to consider when you go to buy one of these old bikes used and you notice major oil leaks, rear main seal, push rod tube seals, you have to consider that it's possible that the bike needs rings and the reason that those oil leaks are present is because there's too much pressure being built up in the crankcase because of blow by past the rings. You know, the bike can run great, it cannot smoke, um, and you know, it may not seem like there's an issue with the rings to the average person, but you need to remember that that can have an effect on this, and certainly, if that were the case, and uh, that would have a drastic effect on the price you should pay for a used airhead. So negotiate wisely, be informed, and make the right decision. There's plenty of these out there for sale.